wanted to do a video highlighting newcomers stories about coming to Canada. This is my story guys. This is my story in English and Telugu. I wanted to, uh, to show teachers how they can have students participate in different projects and using their multilingualism and multiliteracy. Today we were watching uh, my friends' videos and what, what, why did they come to Canada and why did I come to Canada because in Syria there was war. You'll see students talking in their first language and then you see them saying that same line or same story in English. I have two brothers, one of them is named Mohammed, the other one is named Wafa. And I have a cute little baby sister named Sedan, and we all used to live in Syria, but my little sister, she was born in Canada. Jackie invited me to collaborate with her on this project and um, develop ideas to help students tell stories and tell their stories in a way that would allow their uh, real personalities to shine through. Images are a visual language, and we communicate quite well across all cultures visually. Tasha Saa. And here we are in Canada. My friends that I found in the school helped me a lot speaking English. My parents don't really understand a lot of English, so I did tell it, I did speak English and Arabic. There's this rich, complex world in their minds and the things that they want to communicate and say, and you can hear that in their first language. Some of that detail may be lost in their English translation. But the reality is they have so much to share and so much to tell. By using their first language and their additional language and through art, they're able to share their story. These students are coming with higher order thinking. They're coming with previous knowledge and they're coming with another language. It's so fluid, transitioning from their first language to their additional and how they're doing this practically simultaneously. It's quite amazing to see that. You're seeing confidence happening. You're seeing that they're feeling really validated. They matter. Their story matters. My name is Elisa and I'm from China. I hope they learn that China is an important country also. My name is Amira and I'm Farida and we're sisters. We watched our movie and it was so good. We have to say like one part in English and the other part in Kurdish. Telling our story like what happened in Syria and stuff. And like it reminds me of all like the stuff that happened and like now we're like in a safe place. <laughs> It helps me to like teach other people like to respect our language. Hello, my name is Leo and I come from China. It makes me feel happy that other people learn about my language. When a student is validated, uh, when we're looking at their language, they feel more confident, they feel more comfortable, and they feel welcomed. I feel welcome to my school. I love my school because I have all kind of friend and when I they say something that I don't understand I will ask them and they will always translate it to me. Uh, my name is Ishan. He's my uncle. Yeah, hi. So many people don't know my name so I introduce my name and my family. It was great and uh, thanks for uh, giving opportunity to him to tell his story. So teachers are seeing this, and first of all, they're amazed because they're thinking, wow, just to hear these students speak their first language, because sometimes they don't always get a chance to do that. The teachers are also looking at it now going, how do I implement and integrate a dual language literacy approach in the classroom? Our classrooms are already language rich in English, so having those first languages and, and celebrating those and bringing them in in different ways, it's making the classroom really, really special. I get embarrassed at the beginning, but now I'm so proud of myself. I can even say this is my best day ever. You look not that full. Thank you for, for listening. listening. Satu wakos, unang wabisis.